today in the sight of God and the presence of friends and family to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Father in heaven, we thank you for your love and your grace. We thank you for the gift of salvation, which is only through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and for the new creation that we are in him. We thank you for the institution of marriage and for the joy and fulfillment that it brings. Lord, we invite you into our presence during this time. We ask that you bless this union between Clay and Jessica and that they grow and conform to the image of your son. We ask that by the power of your grace, Clay and Jessica will be transformed into true oneness. Clay's holding the outer cross, and it represents strength. It represents power. It represents the protection that he brings to the family. Clay, place your cross in the foundation, the cornerstone. Jessica holds the inner cross. It represents beauty, nurturing, reminds us of the loving heart of God. And her cross sits inside the outer cross, place your cross here. And then the cross is held together with three pegs. Of course, we're reminded of the three nails that hung Jesus on the cross. We're reminded in Scripture that a three-corded strand is, brings strength. And we're reminded of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And may the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit make this marriage all that it's intended to be. You may place your pegs now. Wherefore, what God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss the bride. I really am excited to see y'all uh, build a life and a home and a family together. And thank you for allowing us to be a part of that. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every second of every minute of every hour is worth it, because y'all did it together. Being one of your best friends, I've seen you grow into such an amazing person. I'm so proud of the person Jessica has become, especially the man she's chosen to spend the rest of her life.